When you hear SSL, you might think of how it relates to a website. For a long time, web addresses typically began with HTTP, but more recently, many sites have begun with HTTPS. That S stands for secure, and it means there is an SSL protocol associated with that domain. If you type braze.com into your browser, the site it takes you to will automatically begin with HTTPS. This indicates that there is an SSL or TLS certificate that is valid and trusted, and indicates the site is safe to visit and not a scam or the source of dangerous malware. These protocols are becoming more prevalent today as major browsers like Chrome are starting to restrict traffic through non-secure URLs to protect their users. And if you have SSL on your website, users will be able to access it with no problem. But in a Braze email, we transform your links using branded link tracking subdomains in order to track your users' clicks. By default, these transform links will begin with HTTP. This means that a user with a browser or extension that restricts non-secure traffic may have difficulty passing through that redirect before landing at the destination URL, even if the destination URL is secure. For this reason, it is best practice to apply an SSL layer to those link tracking subdomains so the transform links can begin with HTTPS and your users are able to securely redirect through these links. The way we do this is by utilizing a third party, usually a content delivery network or CDN for short. A CDN can host that certificate and serve it to the browser anytime one of those links is clicked. In a non-SSL setup, our links will first pass the user to our email partners at SendGrid or SparkPost, who will see the traffic and increment a click for your analytics before dropping the user off at their destination. With SSL active, we simply add the CDN to that equation. The traffic first goes to the CDN, which serves the SSL certificate and lets the browser know the link is secure. The CDN then proxies the traffic to SendGrid or SparkPost, who increments the click, before sending your user to the destination. To a user, this should occur in the blink of an eye. Here's how to set this up. First, obtain SSL certificates for each of your link tracking subdomains. For example, if your links are wrapped with clicks.example.com, you'll need a certificate for that specific subdomain, no wildcard or root domain certificates. Then, work within your chosen CDN provider to implement those certificates. Next, you'll need to configure your CDN to handle the traffic and proxy it back to the ESP once the certificate has been served. The proxy destination should be whatever the current value is for your link tracking DNS records prior to this setup. If you need help with this step, please consult the relevant documentation linked in our Braze docs, and for troubleshooting, reach out to support resources at your CDN. Once you've configured your CDN, you will need to repoint your link tracking CNAME record within your domain space toward your CDN. This usually means changing the value to a custom value provided by your CDN. This way, when the link is clicked and the browser looks up the record for that subdomain, it will know to send the traffic to your CDN instead of directly to our email partner. At this point, you can test your setup by sending a test email containing a link from your Braze dashboard. The link should still be transforming with HTTP at the beginning. This is normal. Click that link. If it breaks, that usually means there is something wrong with your CDN proxy setup or another aspect of your CDN configuration, and you should check your CDN to fix it. If it works, try the final test. Copy the transformed link and paste it into your browser, manually changing the beginning to HTTPS. Now test again. If it works, it means the SSL certificate is properly being served and your part of the setup is complete. If not, you'll need to correct whatever issue may exist with your certificate. Once this has been done for all of your link tracking subdomains, let your Braze rep know. We will flip on SSL for your account, which will force your transform links to use HTTPS from now on. As long as the setup remains properly configured, your tracking links will be secure going forward, ensuring an optimal user experience. Implementing SSL is not mandatory, but it is an industry standard that makes your emails secure, providing better customer experiences for users. If you finished your Braze onboarding but haven't set it up, please speak with your success manager or the Braze support team to get started.
happy sending.